Hello guys, I am Samke Jain, a medical student at Pinatsa National Medical University and here I am back with a new video of my anatomy series with the topic abdominal aorta and in this video we will be discussing about the various branches of the abdominal aorta and for more such videos you can just subscribe to our youtube channel, follow us on instagram and join our telegram channel all the links are provided in the description below now let's start with the video so you, basically your entire if we see your total aorta then the length of a total aorta is from T4 to L4 right but when the aorta it comes out of your aortic hiatus of the diaphragm as it comes out the comes out of the aortic hiatus of a diaphragm it is referred to as abdominal aorta and that aortic hiatus is at the level of T12 therefore abdominal aorta the length of abdominal aorta is from T12 to L4 so this is the extent of abdominal aorta now let's see what are the various branches so we have categorized the branches of the abdominal aorta into four types you can see here in the table we have ventral branches, lateral branches, dorsal branches and terminal branches. Now let's see that what are these what are these branches actually. So first of all let's talk about the ventral branches. So we have three ventral branches that are celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery and inferior mesenteric artery. So we have celiac trunk celiac trunk superior mesenteric artery and inferior mesenteric artery now you should remember the levels of these the vertebral levels of these ventral branches the celiac trunk it is originated at the lower border of t12 the superior mesenteric artery is originated at the lower border of t1 and inferior mesenteric artery is originated at the body of l3 now the another category we have is lateral branches so we have basically four lateral branches we have four pairs of lateral branches basically the inferior phrenic artery one of the arteries supplying the diaphragm the next is middle suprarenal artery middle suprarenal artery another one is the renal artery renal artery takes its origin just below the level of superior mesenteric artery it arises just below the superior mesenteric artery so here we have the renal artery and the last one that is the gonadal artery here's the gonadal artery now gonadal arteries can be testicular artery that is in males and it can be ovarian artery that is in female so if it is testicular artery then it will be supplying the testes epididymis and spermatic cord if it is an ovarian artery then it will be supplying the ovaries only now what about the next category we have dorsal branches among the dorsal branches we have four pair of lumbar arteries so we have four dorsal pairs of lumbar arteries and these lumbar arteries divide into anterior and a posterior division so we have lumbar arteries that is four pair and each one divides into an anterior and a posterior division another branch from another dorsal branch we have is middle sacral artery or median sacral artery it is same so we have middle or median sacral artery and the important point is that it is the only unpaired dorsal branch we have middle sacral artery that is unpaired and middle sacral artery can sometimes give rise to the fifth lumbar artery now what are the next category the next category is the terminal branches terminal means end means at this point the aorta will give the abdominal aorta will give its final branches so at the lower border of l4 
at the lower border of L4 your abdominal aorta is divided into two common iliac arteries two common iliac arteries these are the terminal branches and let's just discuss it here only that common iliac arteries at lower border of L5 will divide into an external iliac artery and an internal iliac artery where the external iliac artery continues as a femoral artery and internal iliac artery divides into an anterior and a posterior division so this was all about the abdominal aorta and its different branches and if you have if you guys have any doubt relative to any topic you can just comment below in the comment section and if you want to give us suggestions that on what videos you can you want uh, sorry on what topics do you want videos you can also tell us that uh, thank you so much guys